Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Will Busley, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to check out a game um, called Estrange the Departure. It's developed by one person in their spare time with the help of a community of translators and testers. And, ooh, I love it when they say, hey, report bugs. That always means there's going to be some. And those are always exciting. Because nothing, nothing is just better than an indie game with lots of bugs. Especially if they're funny bugs and not like the ones where you're like, oh, you break your console or anything. Those ones are terrible. Let's see what we have here. Um, sound. Seems fair. Screen to fill the view. Let's bring it back a little bit. I feel like 100 degrees is fine. We're going to leave the gamma alone. Interface. Huh. I do like the... Oh, this is good. More games should have this type of accessibility option. Because that's the worst thing on the Nintendo Switch. Is like when you're playing something in handheld, right? And then you can barely read the read the text because of how small the screen is. Because you're going from like a 720 resolution, but you're going for something. Yeah, because a lot of times, like with Fire Emblem games, with many of them, you're trying to play something and the text is like all the way over here. So we can make this... Uh, it's a good size by itself, but it's nice to have that uh, that option. I'm not going to mess with the controls because I want to find out. Normally there's new game and arcade. We're going to do new game, which has apparently three chapters. These two are locked, and we'll see what chapter one is. I think this is a first person shooter. I do know that I paid for it with points. Because, like, they have that thing, you know, where when you pick up something physical and you, you um, register your stuff. Register your games, people. It's worth it. You can be like, oh, I can just throw points at this. You get none of my money. <laughs> I don't know how the point system thing works with Nintendo, so I don't know. Like, if it's better to ban points... Uh, field of view is not too bad, and there's no um, frame stutter. Well, not too noticeable. Eh, I may want to reduce like the the point the field of view, because if you'll notice, there's that little bit of um, frame stutter. Although, let's check out the music. It's not too bad. Look at that snail. This entire video is just going to be watching that snail to see if it makes it to that line. You can do it. I believe in you. You see, that snail has to get to that line to help its family. It's got like eight kids and three of them have cancer. And four of them need to go to go to like a expensive school. No, what are you doing? Go to the line. And it's also like fighting back a horrible addiction to cocaine. No, you could do it, which is probably like the uh, the um, plot of DreamWorks Turbo. I don't know. I've never seen it. Okay, it hit the line. That is actually a fairly fast snail, and I don't see anything I can interact with right here. Like, can okay? So can I jump? Okay, so B button jumps. B button, A is crouch. You get down to here, like you're playing Hello Neighbor. Which, for some reason, always has like this stupidly terrible, uh, terrible angle. I played a demo of that once on like the uh, Xbox, and I'm like, yeah, I don't get it. Now, some games, I get it when it comes to like the uh, first person stuff, like We Happy Few or Bendy and the Ink Machine. But Hello Neighbor never really did anything here because it was the perspective. Or when you get those ones which are like the the um, million of different millions of different um, horror films, sorry horror um, 
games where you're supposed to be like a kid and oh no your toys are alive and they're somehow aggressive like they're in Five Nights at Freddy's or something eh. let's interact Ooh, I like this is a fairly modern um, this is a nice cabin in the woods I'll be perfectly honest you have like snail stories and you have you can sit here and watch actual stories that's a decent TV although that bothers me that they put that all the way over there where's your coffee table oh well wait can I interact oh wait oh they want me to turn on the TV so-called Glockner has been criticized for the second time this year with its heavy-handed use of live ammunition and its protective assignments the company's policy states that live ammunition is to be used on all what? assignments However, campaigners say this is unnecessary and incites the violence they wish to avoid. The company declined to comment on that, but others say it's an act I don't have popcorn for this. The government contractor is responsible for a number of overseas operations. Which so kind of a Black Hawk type thing. So that'd be kind of funny if there's some type of commentary about the further militarization of police. ...on one of its offshore drilling platforms. The 37-year-old employee emerged on a beach after evidently swimming from hmm. the platform, while doctors later confirmed a bullet in his leg. So-called Glockner confirmed the bullet... This entire game is just you watching the news and commenting at it. ...to comment on the case. It insisted mm -hmm. it was working with the relevant authorities. Weather now. Storm Edwin continues to make landfall, but today provides residents in the north with a day of calm. <laughs> We're storm in 50 years. You find out that 50 years is when they start measuring. Filling bathtubs with water and stocking food to last for at least two days. That's all from me. Food, water, supplies, toilet paper. That oh, this uh, this game would actually kind of be impressive if it turned out to be like the whole point of this is to wait. I should be able to pick up. Ah. Uh, should be able to pick up this knife, right? I might need it. I mean, all things considered, if there's this big storm, I'm gonna need that knife, I'm gonna need, like, whatever firearms they have, maybe this fire extinguisher, and we'll just have to go raid the neighbors. Because, look, we have, uh, no real supplies. I mean, look at this. Also, why is that fan on? That makes no sense. Well, it's not really on, wait. It looks like it is because of pixel shimmering. Okay, it is off. That's a waste. Well... Wait. Okay. What are we picking up here? Are we picking up this object or that object? Oh, you have to hold the Y button to pick it up. I think... There we go. This is, this, this is the game. This is just it. All that promise of weapons and whatever, and we just have this ducky. We're gonna put the ducky in the sink. Yay! We're gonna pick him up again. Come with me, ducky. Go home, ducky. Oh, oh wait, how to. It's a magic ducky. Okay, wait. This right here is quality YouTube content. You're welcome. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get right into the news. Yeah, you didn't realize you're like um, that you were watching Jimmy Kimmel, huh? Okay, let's see here. Let's actually interact with that. I want my ducky back. Oh no, did I actually get rid of it? I probably needed that. The whole game is ruined. Let's get this other one. No, don't do the yet. No. Go find your brother. Wait, actually, let's take him over here. Can we put him in the microwave? I can't open the microwave. And I can't do anything with the toaster. Nope. How, why can't I pick up that knife? Oh, I can pick it up. Now what am I gonna do with this? Is that? <laughs> Chips and nachos. Oh, shoot. Okay, so... Follow me, knife. This cabin is haunted. Wait, I was... 
let's put this we're gonna take this knife and we're gonna um, we're going to drop <laughs> it's gone okay <laughs> okay what are these cups oh did I break that nope I did not cool what in the heck is this thing okay can I interact with it I don't know what it is let's put it over here a second okay the physics in here make me happy I can't pick up the toaster can I get another knife oh, I got a plate <laughs> yes <laughs> let's see how let's see what this does the plate go down the hole this is this is like okay I'm sure that the one the person who made this the one person who worked on this is now looking this and like why why are you doing this people are gonna look up this video or look up my game and this is all the no I want to flush the kettle yes okay <sighs> no Okay, it looks like the kettle is too big for me to flush. Dang it. Wait. Right. We're gonna try and drop it a little bit further. <laughs> no. <sighs> okay, so this thing is too big to flush. You're bad, you sit over there. Oh wait, there's more stuff in here. I can't pick up these books. I can't pick up these pants. Wait, if I've got pants that are folded up there, realistically, the pants would be on the floor. <laughs> Instead of like, oh gee, this person doesn't have anything whatsoever. This box? Okay, let's see if there's anything in here. Nothing. Oh, nope. Mm -hmm. <gasps> ducky! There's another ducky. I'm going to flush all of these ducks. No, I don't want to die! Yeah, yeah, you do. Don't worry. You're going to a better place. It's someplace outside of this game. Eh? I'm sure that there's stuff outside of the cabin, but I also don't care about it. Ooh. Okay. Let's see how many ducks I can find. And there's a book that says the secrets. And oh, by the way, if you, if you know anybody who's like into the secret, it's basically the law of attraction. The basic idea is if you think you should get something, you can manifest it. That's what the basic idea of that whole Eckert Tolle, like, the secret thing is. And I've probably saved you some money. No need to buy the book now. <sighs> How many ducks are there? I feel like they want me to do this. <sighs> They're all like, No, he has found us! the ducks in their infinite wisdom will tell their remaining descendants about the great flush of 2021. Humans will be suffering through the great reset, but ducks, they will suffer through the great flush. I like how accusatory they seem to be. Okay, you go over there. You too. I don't want the, I don't want the game to like cheat me out of um, flushing you. I feel like some kind of horror movie monster to these poor ducks. Wait. I'm not wondering if I can get out there, if I can get my snail. I think that'd be kind of game of the year if I can flush the snail. <laughs> uh, 
somewhere someone's like, this is not the content I wanted to see the day, but it is the content I saw. Ooh, a bucket. Nope. I wonder if I was... Ooh. This is an almighty bucket. Do not tell the other trolls about it. I do not need to go outside. I need... <sighs> so we have grape soda. We have empty bottles of water. I don't need those. Wow. Wait. Okay. And then, wait, what is that? Looks to be just... Paper wads for no reason? Yeah, that, that just seemed kind of weird. No, I don't need to go outside yet. I'll leave you there. Hmm. Let's pick you up. No! I think this is the last of the ducks. Oop, I missed. How did I miss? Come here. Perfect. Let's see if there's anything in this basket. That fence is not to keep things out, it's to keep me in. Hmm, let's see what's in here. Paper. I don't see a printer anywhere. Chocolate, chocolate, nuts and chocolate. This person, ah. Can I pick up that book? I want to be able to pick up that book. No. You thought you could hide. You thought you were the last one. You thought you were so clever. But you're flush with death. <laughs> it's about to happen. Okay. And the good thing is, since this is one of those that I didn't have to, um, that I didn't get from the company, I can do my naming conventions. Oh, look at all these pencils and markers or highlighters and screwdrivers. Oh, uh, screwdriver and pliers. Nothing over here. I think that is everything. So... I noticed that the little red cross on the um, left hand side has blood on it. So I think this actually does have combat. Oh, that works, but that is the wrong size generator for all this. Hmm. Snail, please let me pick you up. It's so nice to meet you. Finally, I'm a big fan, big fan. But I can't pick him up. Maybe I can put him up, put a cup on him. Now this is a little bit more like it. But mm, shouldn't those be better served out on the roof? I mean, all things considered. Oh well. I think most of the time um, these games they include things like solar energy panels and stuff because it's a nice little uh, <gasps> duck, 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 duck. <laughs> you will sit here on the sink for a little bit okay because we had to wash you off you're uh you're dirty from being outside and now you can return from whence you came ah okay i don't know what the button oh wait this is my the jumping, jumping, can I get over here? If I find if I find more ducks in the woods, I feel like that's that's definitely on purpose. Oh, I can't do anything with that. 
Hmm. I wonder if I can get hurt. We're gonna try. We jump. Nothing. Open the gate. And it doesn't let me climb on stuff. Because I wanted to see if I could just jump. Not bad looking, though, by the way. Like... There's a part in here that this there's a part in setting his sacrifice that this reminds me of. But this is probably a happier game. Wait, are there's Whoa. Those crabs collided with each other and they are flying into the air. No, that is not a bug, that is a feature. Oh my god. It's so beautiful, I'm gonna cry. And there they go. Their people need them. <laughs> what is up with those collision physics? Wait, can I go under here? Let's check real quick. Yes. Under the dock. Boom. I want I want you, crab. Where are you? This is one of the only times you should be chasing crabs. Outside of Mardi Gras. I think I'm only funny to me. And if I see if I keep laughing my own jokes, you'll think of like Markiplier or something. Mm. Oh. Really? That's when they wanted you to learn about crouching? Okay. I wonder if I can go into the water. If so, can I find ducks? Cause like seriously, if I'm able to flush them into something, that means it's gotta go somewhere, right? Hmm. Oh, that was the end of the level, I think. I should try going into the water. Can we go into war now? We cannot. I cannot jump. Really? What shocks me is the surprising lack of ducks. You spin it and hope for luck. That's also how I drive. I just push on the pedal and then spin the wheel and hope for luck. And somehow I get to places I need to go. If anyone can hear this, my name is Jonathan Darrell, and I, I need help. The yeah, you're a ham radio operator. Taken over the island. A anyone, please. I have supplies, but they're out there. I hope they're talking about the ducks. Eh, that person's story bores me. Let me... I can't climb! Yeah. <laughs> well, what? What was that? Um... Is the god of ducks gonna take me out now? I regret nothing. If anyone can hear this, my name is Jonathan Darrow. Eh. I have this. We're gonna. Oh! I didn't get to throw it to safety. I at least wanted the cup to live. And now it won't. So. The fact that this is made by one person is kind of nice. I'm kind of interested to see what their uh, storyline is that they're trying to push. Hmm. Estranged. 
which is kind of similar to Resident Evil 8, which is essentially just a giant custody battle. Anyways, the departure. The departure. Which is actually just a bad copy of a much better film called Infernal Affairs. Ooh, I have a flashlight. Let's see what it does. Ooh, and I can go under the water. Now we're... So we have an air meter, at least. Ooh. Now... This, I like. Hopefully there's no battery stuff for that. Okay, so... Apparently we ended up here? How did we... How did this happen? You know, this is one of those things where, if it's on PC, I hope someday they have ray tracing in it. Oh no, there is a battery on the flashlight. So we're just going to hold that to ourselves. Let's take this one. I, I want this. And I can't take it. I can't take it? Mm. <laughs> I think that's funny. That's the first instance where it thinks, hey, you should jump. Okay, so we have this. Okay, we have multiple places we can go. Here, water down below. This is just rocks. Uh-huh. Oh. I mean, this is super impressive for what it is. Like, the person who put this together should be very proud of what they've done. And I'm not even done with the game. I'm going to jump down there. I'm a duck! And this is the part of the um of the game where you start hearing like the it's a small world music. You can see like Bear Rabbit, Bear Fox over there. Until they change them out with other token characters. Like Tiana. <laughs> mm -hmm. Civilization exists. Ooh. I know there's supposed to be combat, so hopefully I can get, like, a gun or something soon. Ouch! So you can take damage. Hello? But I can heal, right? Anyone can hear this. I need help. These things, they've... They've taken over the island. Anyone, please. Oh, what would we do with this? They're out there. This is an automated message from our corporation. Mandatory curfew is in effect. Please stay inside. Hmm. So, is this a thing we're supposed to, like, charge up? What do we do with this? Weird. I do think it's so like um I think it's kind of funny how this person that we keep hearing on the radio has like the most deadpan voice for he's like Hi they've taken over the island There are all of these things and they're super dangerous They've taken my money Do I do anything with this? Okay, so maybe... What am I technically supposed to do with that? Oh well, we'll find out. Hmm... We're just gonna keep going. 
Oh. What do we do with this? Nothing. Oops. Maybe we're supposed to climb out? How do we climb out? Maybe... Okay, so what I'm thinking I can do is take all these things up to the top and then I'm going to stack... I'm going to see if I can stand on them. Seems fair, right? I mean, that... That's what we're doing? Probably. Okay, can I stand on you or do I automatically like push you? No! Stop, barrel, traitor. Okay, so what do I do here? Uh, this is not a thing I can step on. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, so I think something needs to happen there. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. At all. Hmm. Um, got barrels. So, I think there's this elevator that we're supposed to get working again. And then there's this thing. Okay, so this thing... Oh. We just had to bring it in there. Okay, let's do that. Let's crush that barrel. <laughs> Makes sense. There we go. So, I didn't have to throw that or anything, I just needed to, like, touch it. Okay. Boop. Sweet. We're out of the hole. You know, whenever that game save thing pops up there, I keep thinking that something's gonna jump out at me. It's always that thing, you know, when you see the autosave come up and you're like, oh no, there's a boss isn't there. Well, we have this and it doesn't seem to, uh, do anything. Is there something we're supposed to press over here? Wait. No? I need to get over to there. Ugh, do I need to fill this thing up with stuff? Okay, so this is up and running. Maybe I need to take these barrels with me. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to take all the barrels with us. I don't know why, but we're going to do it. That's got to be the puzzle. Well, you stay over there. Be a good barrel. I should name them. You're Eduardo? You're Bob? Did I have three of those, or no? I guess I had no more of those, so... Those are gonna have to do. I've named them both after my uncle. Well... Okay, let's see here... And jump. Oh no no, this sounds seems like this is correct. Seems like I'm doing the right thing. Yes. Ugh. No. No no no. Stay. 
Stay. You can do it. Yep. What? I should be able to get... <clears throat> I need a third barrel, don't I? Okay. I'm, hope I'm glad that I didn't accidentally cr actually crush that barrel. That would suck. To not have a third barrel. Boop. My barrels. We need one more thing. Gotta be another thing around here somewhere, right? Okay, we have one over here. Another barrel? Oh, I can't pick these up. They are not barrels. Can't pick that one up. Oh, here it is. Third barrel. Yes. Okay, we'll put you there. Boop. There we go. You're going to be part of my barrel threesome. I'm going to stack you on top of your friend, and then I'm going to get on top of y'all so I can go over that fence. Simple stacking puzzle. Eh, eh, there you go. Now hold still. Okay, good. Good. Yes! Up! Oh. Up. Up. Shouldn't this just let me go through? Oh no, is this not the solution to this? How is this not the solution? Mm -mm. Okay, is there something I'm missing? Mm -mm. I mean, this makes sense to me, right? Okay, I've got these stacked up. Okay. Actually, let me check to make sure there's not like a button or something. Wait, what's up there? <sighs> so I can't get past those two things, even though I technically should be able to. Okay, but I am going to stack you up here. Come back with me. Nope, nope, nope. Let's do this. We're gonna stack you there. Mm -hmm. What is up with these suspicious rocks? Okay, you're staying there. Okay, and I need you over here. Yeah. Okay, so we're jumping up here. Uh. Ah, I knocked over the barrel. Stay put. You can do it. That That's not precarious at all. Okay. Yep. Okay, so. Nope. Why would that spin like that? It makes no sense. Yep. 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 Maybe I can jump on this. No. Maybe I didn't need all three of these barrels up here. Come on. Okay. Ah, no. These these barrels are very disappointing. They are like a sun to me. Ah, pfft, dang it. Hey, you know if you if um. When you're this, you know what they say, like, uh, great, good artists copy, great artists steal. Mm. There is nothing up here. Wait, what is that? Oh, those are lights. Maybe I'm supposed to, like, pick up a rock? 
Oh my god. Really? I'm supposed to pick up the rock and throw it at the button. That's why there's so many of these stupid rocks. Here I was trying to get over it. I mean, I think my solution is much more elegant. It gives you a purpose for the other things. But here, we're just throwing rocks. Okay, that one I totally hit. So, that should have opened it. Eh, eh. Wow, we're just going to run out of rocks. Okay. Try. Got it. You know what? I'm going to bring one of these with me. Because I have a suspicion. Ooh. I love tape recorders like this. I mean, Bioshock was one of the first ones to do this. Or was it System Shock that did that first? Where you sit there and you listen to like the last things of people. Audio diary. Number one. Audio diary number one. Uh, the creatures are going to eat me, and that's going to be the end thing of this. And it starts studying the algae. It, it actually glows if you leave it alone for a little while. So. I love how horribly unenthused these people sound. Uh, got a little sample here with me that I'm going to leave in my office for a bit to see what happens to it. it what's he going to do? Is he going to smoke it? He's like, we're going to leave it in my office for a little bit, see what happens to it. Seriously? I would imagine, though, if they're, if they're there studying algae, they got to be like, if you've seen those people who do um, study geology and they're all like, these rocks taste differently, and you're like, then realize, you know, if you spent all that money getting a geology degree, wouldn't you do the same thing? You're like, I have unearthed this million year this no, sorry this thing that's been in there for billions of years this fossil i've got this fossilized dinosaur bone i'm gonna turn it into soup or i'm gonna lick it you know i wonder though like that's probably like because we use salt and stuff like that somebody somewhere had to be all like i dug up this rock i'm gonna eat it i'm gonna, I'm gonna like lick it find out what happens Ooh. They apparently I'm just breaking some stuff over here. Finally, we got something. And it doesn't seem like there's weapon durability, so we can continue to do this. <laughs> We're just mining it. We're going to rebuild it back later. It's going to be a ramp. And it's like it's like, you know, when you when you, um, you go to build something, someone comes up on you, just hold it and spin. Ooh, I wonder if I can break these. Kind of. They seem to have liquid in them, but you can't, like, bust a hole in them. That's a canned good. Can't do anything with that. And there's more of my barrel friends, but I can't get to them. Brother, I will free you! It doesn't let me. Oh well. But now that we've got this pickaxe, we'll probably run into combat because that's how these games work. Although if it's a good horror game, you won't have any combat until you won't get a weapon until after your first incident of combat. So you just have to run. Okay, there's no electricity to this, I guess. So we need to figure out a way to I gotta figure out where to go now. Hmm. I mean, we broke all the wood that was there, right? Oh, it probably wants me to break more of the wood. It's one of those things where it's being finicky. And you're like, I broke all the wood. No, there's a piece of wood touching. It can't go down. Ah. That said, this is a pretty satisfying clunk. Ooh, wait. Yeah, there's no electricity going to this. So we need, probably need to figure out what to do with it. 
floor. Can't break the floor? Nope. Okay, so I'm thinking there's something that I missed that I'm supposed to supposed to do something with. No, here's this. Oh wait. This is the uh, Liam Jones audio diary number one. Uh, we just started. I'm gonna throw this down the well. And uh, really down. It, it actually glows if you leave it alone for a little while. So uh, that's cool. Uh, got a little sample here. MDK90. I'm gonna leave in my office for a bit. I like that part where, where in this little iteration the person like shakes the bag. That's kinda nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So why am I here? I wonder if I'm supposed to... No? Maybe... Wait. Okay. Here's what we're doing. We're jumping up on these. No, we'll jump. Okay, and then we're gonna drop you out there. Oh! That makes sense. Wow, these things have no weight. feel like they have no weight to them. But then they do. Because, like, when we threw that one over, it, uh... See? Seems to have no weight. But, apparently, they're heavy enough to, um... Yeah, let's free all of them. I knew I'd find... I, I'm, I'm kind of happy that I got to free these. I I believe in barrels. Oh. Okay, there we go. Yay, we had two in there, so oh oh crud. Okay, let's let you go. Let's get back up here. Whew. Um Okay. So now let's just go this way, I guess. We gotta figure out our way out. Come on. No, I don't want to drown. Okay. Whew. Okay. Okay, so we got here. And I guess it's this shaft over here? Nope. Um, shoot. No. No, we're drowning. We're totally drowning. And we're not going to live. Oh, we died. Okay. I broke an elevator. So we drowned. I actually kind of like the physics on this game. This is, uh... Is Strange the Departure? Um, it's by somebody named Alan Edwards, and I think he did a pretty good job. I think this is one of those that's often on sale, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. I think the physics in here are interesting. I think the whole thing itself was, that was put together was just... It's well done. It's like a fun little distraction-y game, and it's super cheap, so... It's one of those things where I'm like, hey, check it out. And we didn't even get to any combat yet. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. And uh, then um, make sure you hit that thumbs up, that share button, that subscribe button. Ring that little bell so you know if I whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. And until next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.